everyone, I'm V from Casually Fragrant. Today I'll be doing a April perfume haul, which includes part of the perfumes I got from my Sephora VIB sale. Um, I want to start with a fragrance sampler I received from Shoppers Drug Mart. You receive seven of these little mini perfumes, and then you can redeem a kind of a certificate for one full size. Um, the minis in the newest fragrance sampler that Shoppers has to offer is Sea Passion by Giorgio Armani, Chloe by Chloe, Dylan Blue by Versace, Aura by Mugler, The Pure Nectar by Issey Miyake, Good Girl by Carolina Herrera, and La Vie Abelle L'Eclat by Lancôme. So I already have full bottles of Aura and Good Girl, so I ended up purchasing the full bottle of Giorgio Armani's Sea Passion. Um, I absolutely love these little fragrance sample sets. I'm addicted to collecting mini perfumes and I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I haven't used the Sea Passion too much yet. It's a December 2017 release. It's got notes of pear, rose, vanilla, currants, helotrope, and some soft woods. And I'm really looking forward to using this one in the future and if you're interested in a full review uh, let me know down below and if you're interested in a full review of any of the fragrances I mention in this haul then uh, let me know down below which ones they are so those are the minis um, from the Sephora sale I ended up picking up these three rollerball um, kind of travel sizes from Nest Perfumes. It's Citrin, Midnight Fleur, and Indigo. Out of these three, with just quick kind of smelling, the Midnight Fleur middle one is definitely my favorite one. I will be doing a review on some Nest Perfumes in the future, so stay tuned. Um, the next fragrance I actually received as a gift comes in this, uh, it's the Adidas Born Original comes in a really cool shaped bottle. Um, this is a sweet, fresh, and fruity scent. It's got apricot, apple, bergamot, as well as some other notes. Uh, this is great for, I think, warm weather or if you're going to be active or doing some kind of sporting event. I think the fact that it's from Adidas, it would be great for like in a gym fragrance. I have worn this to a sporting event and I really like that it's light. It's not overpowering. Definitely will be wearing this one more in the uh, spring and summer months. And then I received as a gift um, these, this uh, flower bomb by Victor and Ralph. This is a limited edition um, perfume. I believe this is the Pearl Pink 2017 release. When I first received this as a gift, I thought it had the same... I thought it was the same flower bomb scent, um, but when I smelt it, it smelt a little bit different than the flower bomb that I have. I have worn flower bomb in the past. It was a signature scent. I absolutely loved it. This is an oriental floral, uh, and I will definitely be testing this one out a bit more. Um, it is limited edition though, but the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. I think this will look beautiful on a vanity, and I absolutely love it. Now for the Sephora sale, I did end up picking a few things that I was eyeing that normally I might not if it weren't for the sale. The first one is this Tom Ford gift set. Um, let me just open it off of camera. I believe this was about $50 Canadian and it was quite expensive um, for what it was. Let's take a look if I can. It was uh, these little mini perfumes and I guess I thought that they would come with like a little spray bottle, but they're actually like regular dabbing minis. Um, it's the Black Orchid and Velvet Orchid. I don't have any of these in full size. I just kind of quickly smelt them. They're quite powerful, strong fragrances, and I'm interested in kind of giving them more of a chance. Um, but for the cost of this, I mean, it is only four mils each. I thought that the sizes would just be a little bit bigger, but I probably shouldn't have because it is Tom Ford. So there's a good chance that, you know, I should have known that they would be small. Um, and then finally, from Tom Ford, my last purchase of the month that I got from the Sephora sale is the Soleil Blanc. And I went with a 30 mil. I find um, a lot of times I don't finish fragrances and 30 mils are actually 
you know, more than enough fragrance for me. Um, let's see if I don't blind you guys watching this. It's in the Iconic White Bottle. And I absolutely love the scent. It's quite, you know, it's a, it's a tiny bottle. But like I said, I'm happy that I was able to add this to my collection. I have sampled this before. Um, this is a incredible summer scent. It's got pistachio, coconut, Lang Lang, tuberose, amber, jasmine, tonka bean, as well as other notes. It's a 2016 release. And stay tuned because I will be doing a summer perfume recommendation video. And this will be one of the fragrances that I will be spotlighting. Absolutely love that it is now in my collection. And those are the perfumes I picked up in April. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked my video, please like it and subscribe.